Hi everyone, this is Anson from AnsonAlex.com and in this video I'm going to show you how you can set your default app for emails to Gmail on Mac OS. So what I mean by that is when you click on a link online, so here we are on my website and I have this link down here that you can click on to email me. When you click on that link I want it to open up in Gmail and Google Chrome because that's the browser I use. But right now if I click on it you'll notice it tries to open my mail app and all that sort of thing. So let's take a look at how we can change that. There are a few different ways you can set this up, so I'll try and talk about those variations as we see them, but again, my end goal is when I click on that link in Chrome to open up Gmail and have a sent email being created from there. So the first thing that we need to do on Mac in order to accomplish this is actually go into the mail app. So let's, let's go ahead and go into mail. So I'm just searching on my computer. You could do it from your toolbar if you've got it. And then uh, I think this is the first time I've used it on this account at least. So what we want to do is, you know, obviously you might have your mail set up in here. Now, if you had your computer set up with your Google account, you can actually receive your Gmail, your Google Mail, here in the Mail app on Mac. Now, I don't do that. I like to use the browser version of Gmail. It's just easier for me. I don't have to sync anything with my local computer or anything. But, you know, this is kind of like a halfway solution is just to use your Google account in the Mail app. But we don't want to do that. So let's see if we can just kind of bypass. Now I can't get to preferences yet. So I am going to have to sign in with an account here. So let me do that real quick. Okay, so now that I've logged in with a Google account, I could configure this mail app to show my Gmail emails, but I don't want to do that. So I'm actually just going to, um, well, we'll just, yeah, sure. We'll let it do the mail for now. But what we really want is to access your preferences. And uh, this is an account that I don't use much on my computer. So I didn't, you know, have anything set up in here, but now we can access our preferences. So from our preferences, we're going to go in and we're going to look at this first option in the general section that says default email reader. We don't want that to be the mail app anymore. Again, you could leave it as the mail app and you could use Gmail as your primary account in Apple Mail and you could use the mail app and still send and receive from Gmail. I want to make that clear, but that's not what we want, right? So I'm going to select this drop down, and I'm going to go ahead and manually select the app that I'd like to use and that's Google Chrome. You could try Firefox, Safari, uh, something else if you use something else for your mail or for your browsing. Okay, so here's Google Chrome So we'll select that and so that's all set here in the mail app. So now, you know d By default, it's not going to try and open up the mail app when we are sending an email It's going to open up Google Chrome now We need to go ahead and configure some settings in Google Chrome So I'm just going to quit out of mail and you know this might be different if you were using a different web browser. So if you're using Firefox or Safari, uh, you may have to set your default email in those browsers as well. But a lot of you, a lot, know a lot of my viewers use Chrome. I'm going to show you that. If you want to see it in another browser, let me know and I'll try and get that tutorial up as well. But here in Chrome, and it's actually quite complicated in Chrome, a lot more complicated than going to the Mail app. So we need to go up to our Chrome menu. We need to go into our Chrome preferences. From our Chrome preferences, we're going to click on privacy and security, or you could just scroll down. From within privacy and security, we're going to click on site settings. And from within site settings, we're going to scroll down a little bit and we're going to look at permissions and we're going to look at additional permissions. Now in additional permissions, we're going to click on handlers. I told you this was complicated. I'm really surprised that it's this complicated in Google Chrome, uh, but I'll show you why it is that way in a second. So here we are in the handler section of Google Chrome. And on my other account on this computer, I actually have a section here that says blocked. And I actually, at one point, somehow I blocked uh, Gmail from being the default site for my email. So if you've done that, you need to come in here and you need to X out, you know, having Gmail blocked. And then also make sure that this is activated. Allow sites to ask to become default handlers. Once you've done this, you should be able to go to gmail.com. Okay, and so here we are in Gmail. So it's the first time I've accessed this account in a while. So here's the tricky part. Once you log into Gmail, after you've made sure that you haven't blocked Gmail in your Chrome handlers, you'll notice at the address bar, right next to the star, to the left of the star, there's this other option. And this allows us to install a service handler. So first of all, let me, let me show you something here. If I click on this option and I say, you know, deny, I do not want to allow mail.google.com to open my email links. If I hit deny and I go back to my handlers, you'll see, let's refresh this, you'll see that you know, it's now blocked. So mail, it doesn't say blocked for some reason on in this section, but this is blocked. So what we need to do is we would need to either remove it or set it as default. So if we set it as default, you'll notice now it says default. Now we could have just, you know, on that icon, we could have just clicked allow the first time, but I just wanted to show you that. And you'll notice that now that we've done that, it's no longer 
available to us. To, to, so to manage it, we do have to go back to this handler section and we could remove it. But now let's give it a shot. So if we go back to my website, we click on the email link. Ta-da! We opened up a new email in Gmail by clicking on the link in Google Chrome. So this is how you can set Gmail as your default email on Mac OS for Google Chrome. Again, you could just set up Gmail in your mail account on your Mac computer, uh, but if you want to open it up in Chrome, you have to do it in both the mail account, the mail app, as I showed you earlier, and you have to do it here in Google Chrome to set Gmail as the default mail handler. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, I would really appreciate a thumbs up here on YouTube. And if you want to see more technology tips and tutorials, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's all I have for you for today. This is Anson from AnsonAlex.com.